So the very first step that you should understand when you plan to create a directory is the type of niche that you're going to uh, list, the type of business that you are going to do directory listings. Now, in this example, I am going to start creating listings for Tattoo Shop. All right. So as you can see here, Tattoo Shop, Tattoo and Piercing Shop. First, I would like to discuss how we can acquire this type of data right here. It's very simple. You just need to go to outscraper.com. The link is in the description below. So sign up using that link. Now, in order to correctly get the information that you need to display. So look at the columns here. Some of the columns here may not be necessary, but we are trying to display as much information as we need. So the very basic of what you need to display, of course, the name and if there's a website and address and of course, working hours. But some of this information may be useful for you in case you want to improve your listing, which I'm going to discuss now. So first of all, once you decided your niche, and you are here ready to grab data in App Scraper. You go to this menu right here, Services. And here in Services, you select this Google Maps Data Scraper. So you will land into this interface right here. The moment you arrive here, you should be decided of the category or the business listing that you want to create. In this example, I am going to create, let's say, this one. We have given Doctor Restaurant, let's say Doctor clinics you want to list around your area or the entire state or the whole country. One way you can decide which type of business listing you are going to do is going to Google Maps here. Now, by default, it will be in your location, nearest location. Now, let's say you decided to do clinics, all right? So you type clinics right here. And here, it will list all the available clinics. You don't have to, you know, this information. But what you need to understand is the Google Maps category. So if there are category listed like this one, Collins Street Medical Center, it is listed as medical center. So you can see there are multiple medical center type of clinic right here. So you can have this as one niche medical center. In my case, I just type tattoo. And as you can see, we've got tattoo shop as my category right here, tattoo shop right there. But if you scroll further down, you will see some other category like this one, tattoo and piercing shop. So you may want to decide whether you just go ahead dedicated to just tattoo shop category, or you want to include other categories as long as related to tattoo. That's what I did. So I include everything related to tattoo. In this example, first, of course, you have to choose your location or the entire country. So I decided to grab the business listings around Australia and all the states right here. So you can change this to United States or Singapore or any country where you want your directory to appear. So in my case, I am just choosing Australia and listing all the states right here. You can also do part a specific state. Let's say you just want to focus on one state. You can do that. So you decide the size of your listings. Now coming back here to category. So when I type tattoo right here, it will auto suggest me all these categories related to tattoo. So what I did, I just selected everything. However, again, as I was saying earlier, you can choose a specific category if you want smaller business listings. So let's say medical center. Okay. So there are like medical clinic, medical spa, medical center. You can either focus your director to just medical center only or medical spa, or you can have everything in the previous video where I created both repair shop. So I just type boat repair and I just focus on boat repair shop only. So I didn't include all this. So it's very important because this is going to be used on how you will design your directory. So coming back to this directory that I showed you earlier. So this is just a simple structure. So what I did here, I only had the state as the main category and then followed by cities. All right. So that's the simple hierarchy. I created in this directory. So as you can see in the home page, initially it will sh just show the states around Australia. So when you go inside one of the states, let's say example, South Australia, then it will list down all the cities right here. So that's the second structure here. Now, in this case, like you have acquired the tattoo related categories. So for example, this one tattoo shop and tattoo artist, you may want to add another hierarchy. So it's up to you. You can just list everything regardless of category 
in CT, so that will make your life easier. But if you want comprehensive enough, so what you can do is when you browse the cities, you can have another category or in WordPress hierarchy, it's going to be maybe type of service, okay, or type of clinic. Let's say, for example, you are going ahead with medical, as you can see, medical center, medical spa. I, I showed you the example, so it's up to you. So in this tutorial, we can start with a simple one, just like this, state and then cities, and then regardless of the category we have right here. But in the information where we are going to display, let's say this business right here, we will add what type of service this business is going to offer. Let's say, for example, we will mention that this business right here will be tattoo shop. We will mention that this business is tattoo artist. All right. So that's what we're going to do. We will not create another uh, taxonomy or category in this column right here. We will just be focusing. The main category will be the state which we acquired here in column I. As you can see, all the states will be here. And within the state, we will list the cities, let's say Victoria, and all the cities related to Victoria. So very similar to the approach we did here so that it will be simpler. Later on, if you are familiar already, if you get the use of creating your directory, you can make more complex hierarchy, such as including the categories, all right? Now, let's just start by showing you how we can acquire that here in Google Maps Scraper. So let's say we decided the doctor category, all right? So we will be focusing on doctor alone. So that category, make sure you check this exact match and you go straight to this one, other parameters. And here, this one, it's up to you what's the information you're going to display in your directory. So very important to have the name if there's a website, of course, that's what people are looking for. And then a category, if you want to split the hierarchy, so just include them. And here, all the basic stuff, phone, full address, all these things right here. Uh, latitude, longitude, they are optional. This is only when you want to enhance your listing and put Google Maps, include them in the scraping. And rating, re review, so you can include them. And then you can just adjust whenever you feel to display that in your website. So ignore all this you don't need them so photo of course if you want to make it displaying decently with photo and street view you can add that you can use as link working hours very important you want to show that and other things business status again this one business status is important because this will enhance the filtering of your category we will only include those status with operational as the volume and about so you can display information about the business logo if you want to have the listing with a logo description you can add that booking appointment for doctors okay for clinics so this four times so people can just click the link and then uh, book for appointment location link maintain you have to display the basic info such as name site and uh, these contact details right here okay so you don't need the country or the u.s state if you know that the listing will be in a specific country only or in a specific state so all these, it's up to you how you want to display the data right here. So once you have this, you click this get data. And when you click this, it will show you the estimated number of listings it will grab, right? And for the price right here, don't be intimidated with the pricing right here. Mostly it will be very less than this, okay? So these are just estimate, but most of the time this will be just less, all right? So when I took the data of Tattoo Shop, it initially prompted me similar to this number of queries and similar to this amount, but it just came out with like around 7,000 or 6,000 and maybe 10 to $15. So you have to be ready to spend when grabbing data to create your directory. So if you're just starting, start with a specific state only so that you don't spend that much. Or if you really want to make your listing comprehensive for the entire country, so you can go ahead. But most of the time, this amount right here will be less, right? So it will just be around 10 to $15, but make sure you take this, you take this exact much, all right? Otherwise, you'll end up having a huge bill at the end of the month here in Outscraper. So ensure you take that and make sure the selection you're using, you are selecting, will have Google Map categories. So that will make your life easier. And allow around uh, at least two hours for the scraping to run. And once it's done, it depends how big the data. Once it's done, you can go to this menu right here, task, 
and you will see it, the status here completed. As you can see, I created the sample here. So I just took five data, five listings right here related to doctor categories. But the other one, the tattoo one, I gathered around 5,000 listings. And that is this listing. So now once this data is ready, we can go to the next step, which is configuring our WordPress, uploading all this stuff right here, installing the required plugins and how you're going to prompt AI to create a custom taxonomy template in WordPress to display the information we want to show to our audience. All right. So let's go now to that step.